It's hard to believe that it's 30 years since the passing of a very beloved friend, Rav Sendegros Zatzal. We met actually because I spent a number of very special summers in Miami with my family. It was in the 1970s. My wife's grandmother lived in Miami. She was immobile. And we wanted to give her the nachas of seeing her grandchildren. And the most inexpensive vacations we could ever take was Miami in the summer. I had heard of Rav Sander Gross as a magnificent machanech and the builder of an educational empire in Miami. I went to Davin in the synagogue in the school, and it was his shul. And he and Libadel ben Chaim Lachaim, his very special Rebetzin, immediately invited the family for lunch, and a very close friendship ensued. It was a real friendship, although it was unequal, because I learned the world from him, especially in Chinuch. He was a master teacher and a master mechanic. He saw the children as kinderlach, his kinderlach, his children. And he only had to see the way he looked at them and the way he interacted with them. It was a living expression of Rishinantam Levanecha, Eluheim Hatamidim, Shenikraim Banim Bachomako. And I remember he once told me, a machanech has to do everything. Because everything is important. And that includes driving the children to school in the bus, if the bus, bus drivers are on strike. Because the task of a machanech is to make sure that the children get into the yeshiva to learn Torah, whatever it takes. And if it took mortgaging your own home in order to make sure that the yeshiva could exist, he did that too. I'll never forget one of the things he told me that I thought was so true and that took me in effect at least intellectually and emotionally out of Rabbanut and into Chinuch. He said to me, you know what the difference is between a Rav and a Machanech? He says, a Rav is always talking Ruchnias. In every one of his drushes on Shabbos, what does he talk about the importance of Ruchnias, Ruchnias, Ruchnias? But what's the sum total of all the Ruchnias? What is he most proud of? What does he boast about to other Rabbanim? How big a shul it is. How nice an Aaron Kodesh there is. How many individuals come to that shul? A machanech seems to be always talking about Kashmir's. He's worried about the lunch programs. He's worried about the buses to get the kids to school. He's worrying about building the school. But the sum total of all of that Kashmir's is the Ruchnius which comes from real Kalmat Torah and from the Hevel of the Tinokot Bevet Rabban. And for me, and the way he said it, and seeing how he lived his life, made me understand that at least my personal definition of Rabbanut has to be chinuch, and making sure that there are the right most dot chinuch wherever I happen to be. The most outstanding thing there, I remember, he knew that I, I wanted to use my summers learning and writing a little bit. And rarely do we get together during the day. It was in the evening, almost every evening, when we were there for the summers, and uh, Shabbos, where we spent a lot of time together. I davened in his shul and everything that happened before and after. And very often I was in the house for Havdalah. And it wasn't just me, it was me and my whole family. 
Once he called me during the day, and he was apologetic. He said, I, I really don't want to bother you. I know you spend the time learning, but I, I, I really need you to ask you a shayla. And I thought to myself, I, I said to him, Rav Sandy, you're asking me a shayla. I'm the one who comes to you with all the shaylas. He says, no, 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 I need, I, I need someone else to give me an objective opinion. So of course I said, please, we'll get together right away. This was the Shaila. He said he was a very young man, I think it was right after his marriage, and it could be that some of the details I'm, I'm remembering are a little bit fuzzy, but the, the fundamental issue was not fuzzy at all. He said to me that uh, he was ill and he had a very bad asthma attack, and the illness, I think, was asthma. And he went to a doctor and he asked the doctor, what to do, and after a thorough, thorough examination, the doctor told him that he had maybe two months to live if he stayed in New York, but if he went to a climate like Florida, it could be six months and maybe even a year. He said, of course, we went to Florida. But I learned with Rav Shraga Feivel Mendelovich, and I heard many different Torah from Rav Mendelovich from him. Al Tikre, Mr. Elanista. He said, and I knew that you have to make the most out of every situation and every day, wherever you happen to find yourself, in whatever situation you happen to be in. The doctor told me that I was terminal. But the truth is, everybody is terminal. And I looked around, he said, and there was no chinuch, there were no day schools, there wasn't anything. So he and his wife decided whatever time he had, he was going to try to establish the day school. Baruch Hashem, he established the day school, established the high school, established the kailil, had a shul in the school. And Miami, because of him, and really because of him, became a Makum Torah. What was his question? That doctor moved to Florida. And that doctor died. And his funeral was an hour after our discussion. And Rav Senda said, on the one hand, I think I should go to his funeral. But at the same time, I feel a bit happy that he died before me. I never would have been able to accomplish what I've accomplished had he not sent me in effect to Florida, and he did send me to Florida. And Baruch Hashem, he was wrong. And I even outlived him. So is it right for me to go to the funeral with those kinds of mixed feelings? And of course I hugged him, and I said, it's more than right. And I think you're one of the biggest schuyot he has when he goes to the Olam HaMS. Because after all, in this convoluted way, because of him, you got to Miami. And you probably belong to be there more than anyone else, especially with the feelings that you have, but most importantly, with accomplishments that you did. Yehi Zechro Baruch.